sacrifices. Yeah, keep on making the sacrifices. <coughs> so, <coughs> we need muscles. <laughs> Elfie, we are checking your abs afterwards. <laughs> <coughs> and then, in the, uh, also uh, last week, uh, in these race times, Carl Weiss said this. Sometimes, uh, we can learn things from them. Sometimes, we also have to take what they say with a pinch of salt. Okay? And he said this. Before event, don't stretch, but do warm up. Yeah. Hey, you will understand what he means if you understand the science behind stretching and warming up. Okay? So, sport science is very, very important. So, many of our coaches are well qualified to talk about these things. So, during your training sessions, ask yourself, what did Carl Lewis say? He said, don't stretch. He said, stretching never prevented injury, injuries. But he said, must warm up. What's the difference? Where does stretching come in or does it come in? What kind of stretching must we do for warm up? So, this is science. <coughs> And then, more about science, he said this. He said, the role of sports science in modern athletics, he said, today we get so caught up with things like massage, ice bath, and technology. What is he trying to say? These are not important? Or maybe he's trying to say, they are important, but at a basic level, do other things for them. I'm not sure what he meant. Yeah? But it's very confusing, isn't it? Yeah? People might read this and say, oh, who needs sports science? And then, president just said, sports science is very important, must be intravenous. Recovery. <laughs> so we, we've got to do this thing. Huh? We must be up to date in our sports science. Maybe what he meant was get the basics right. And you know, our, our, our GM, Mong Rupi, he told me, you must tell the coaches, drills, drills, drills. And then when we brought in uh, Wilson Kip Peter, what was he doing? Drills. Yeah, so get the basics right. Not only for running drills. Yeah? And, and he is a, he's a middle distance runner and he's doing drills. Even marathon runners do running drills. Okay, so get the drills right. But of course, it's a job of the coach to make it fun and maybe in the shape so that you don't get black like me. <laughs> okay, so. But that's the that's job of the coach, right? Drills are boring for young people, but we make it as fun as possible. And then go, young athletes, tell the coach how to make it fun. Alright. And also, <coughs> we need running technique. As you can see, um, this picture, the picture shows, I'm not sure whether it's true or not, but the picture shows her going like this and like this. So that's technique of running. So that's science, videotaping, whatever, right? So this, this kind of uh, techniques, and this is hurdling. <laughs> so jumping technique, throwing technique also must be worked on nicely. This is our job as coaches and athletes. Check it out. <coughs> and so, uh, role of sports science in modern athletics. Huh? So, uh, let's get the basics right, but we also must make sure that we have all these things, massages and ice baths and all the technology. We must make use of it. In sports science, you know, I, I saw this uh, a few days ago uh, during our marathon, uh, just before the marathon. Uh, Harvey, who is from uh, Utopia, said, uh, he said, Running is in my blood. <laughs> it is in my blood. This is science, you know, this is sports science. Running is in my blood. Yeah? It's not only in the blood, it's everywhere. Let me show you this little poster that I got. Uh, some time back, when I first joined the uh, teaching, uh, the teacher's training college as a lecturer, and my first batch of students gave me this because I was, I was always running with them. Uh, he is a teacher now in Victoria School. Anybody from Victoria? Nobody from Victoria? One Victoria? <laughs> <laughs> well, he is Mr. E. Mr. E. Bola. Yeah. You know Mr. Bola? Yeah, E. Bola. He gave me this in 1981 as he was leaving teacher training. But it's such a uh, wonderful poster. It says here, let me, let me show you. Oops, Doctor told me running is great, helps them 
blood cells circulate. Then, great for the lungs, great for the thicker, meaning the heart. Molding and molding my muscles, firming my form, panting like a pet mule, sweating up a storm. And, and this is science, you know, the whole body is working. And we need to understand the whole body is working. And then we can, we can make our training programs a bit more scientific. For example, in the, in the marathon, I, I saw this report in the papers the other day, and uh, at, the, at the bottom of that report was uh, <coughs> Mock Imran's uh, story. And this is what Mock said. Uh, as they were passing one of uh, East Coast Park, when he and his running partner decided to catch up with the elite women runners, he said, when we saw the ladies, we started chasing them. Of course, we have to run it. But after a while, we realized we were, we were going too fast, and so we dropped back. Good thinking. Yeah. And, and you have to be well trained to keep up the, with the world-class women. And that's science. And this is a science that we lack at the distance level. You know, this is an advert in the newspapers. This is from Singapore Sports Medicine Centre at Changi General Hospital. Changi General Hospital is advertising this. What are they advertising? Say, I want to perform better? Well, let me enlarge it for you. This is what it says. This is for endurance athletes. VO2 max fitness evaluation. Knowing your engine capacity of VO2 max and anaerobic threshold will enable you to fine tune your training program to achieve optimal results. And so on and so forth. Have you done this? You may have done a VO2 max. Have you done the anaerobic threshold? What is the anaerobic threshold? How do you train for anaerobic threshold? Very important. For distance runners, these three things are crucial. VO2 max, anaerobic threshold, running economy. You must improve in all these three things. But before you can improve in all these three things, you must understand what they are. Sports science will help you understand. <coughs> Let me give you a little bit of sports science. 